over the lion The same God who delivered Daniel from the lions The same God who was the free Hebrew boys in the first place The same God who gave Samson His strength and courage Church, we are Angelo and Veronica. It's great to be with you. We pray you're well. We pray your faith is in, in, in shape and you've been exercising the Word of God in your life. And uh, that's for yourself. Okay, you don't need any commentaries. All you need is God's Word for yourself. But hey, Veronica, it's good to see you. You get all that? See? Wow. You, you like all that? Okay, all that? okay. Anyway, so today is a, a real great day for me. Because God, you know, Veronica prepared this. We have been talking about this for weeks upon weeks. Yeah. This message. I think this this really needs some clarity today. I think yes. that we really need to decipher and ch- and to dig into God's word, yeah. into His truth, to to show what really is the tr- the truth yeah. as it comes to the church. Because yeah. I think there's a lot of confusion, and you know what? Satan is the author of it. God isn't. Right. So. So we're talking Dick, about the in. scripture Hebrews 10:25, 20, yep. which says, "Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, uh, ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching." So the question is, are we? We have this home church slash Mm. online ministry, are we forsaking Mm. the assembling of ourselves? That's good. You know, so this is the question that has been asked to us. And and we want to answer. We want to answer this today. And I'm so glad because you know what? When someone uh, challenges you, you know what? You go to the word of God and you say, God, you know what? I need to know 
you know, is this right or is this wrong? What do sure. you say on this subject? Yeah, we want his so, opinion. That's right. We want his opinion because his opinion is the facts. It's the ultimate and is opinion. And the truth. And is the truth. So we, we've, you know what? I, wow. I've asked, I asked myself this many times. Well, let's go back yeah. to our history mm-hmm. of our church going days when we, we insisted upon and we were told upon that, hey, you have to have a church home. You have got to go to a ch- church. You need to find a pastor to sit under. You need all, in other words, this was all dictated to us via the music industry, really, because, yeah. Yeah. because it's like, okay, because it looks good. See, it gives the appearance mm. oh. of holiness. Oh. Okay, but you're, you're right. You're it's right. that whole holiness. Yeah. And I hear some other singers do it, and it drives me crazy because I know them personally, and yeah. I know that that's... It is, it is a cover. It's a cover. In the music industry. Right. It's a, because, it's a cover. Because like, it makes oh, them... Say, say that you go somewhere. Mm. Say that somebody's mm. your pastor type of thing. Yeah, right, because... People don't know that. Yeah, yeah. it's an appearance. It's, it's a, it's a cover-up for yeah. something else. And, and, mm. and, and really, to be right. honest with you, I think Veronica and I got convicted a little bit. Like, we were kind of challenged in that because we were very, very divided what we were hearing and what we were seeing in the body of Christ here in Nashville. You mean conflicted. Conflicted, yeah. yeah. Conflicted. And it's like, it's like, wow, wait, wait a minute. Are we, yeah. are we really in God's will here? Are we? Yeah. Because, yeah, you know what? We want to make sure that we're doing God's will, we're yeah. in his will, and we're, we're believing what we're reading. Yeah. So this is an incredibly important mm. question hmm. for us, for you all listening. I mean, this is incredibly, this is very important. And so, but you know what I'm saying? But you know what? I have heard more people say, I love my church. Mm. I love my pastor. Well, you better more, love your pastor. More than, <laughs> more, that's right. Pas- yes, Pastor Angelo. That's right. I don't, I should call you that more, you know. But anyway. Uh, but we don't no, use don't, titles here, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, but you don't, mm-hmm. you don't lift me. Mm-hmm. You don't lift me yeah. above the Lord. He is the Lord. Well, I'm just a vessel of the Lord. Right, but here but here it is in the corp what the corporate mm. church system, the churches that operate as a business is what we're talking about. There is a certain idolatry of churches, of denominations, mm. and pastors. You know? Well, well it's funny because I asked you this question just mm-hmm. the other day. Yeah. I said, why are there so many different church buildings? As you as you go down Church Row here in that in Franklin, there's church after church after church of wait a minute, who's got the truth here? Is it is uh, that does that building have the truth? Wait a minute, does that one have the truth? Wait a minute, who has the truth? Okay? Mm. And it's very confusing to me because I'm not trying to throw people under the bus and run them over. Okay? Because I think that a lot of people were where we were in our But if walk- you don't have Christ you don't have the truth. And just to assume that a church mm. has the presence of God, because we have sang in churches, large churches, smaller churches, big congregations, smaller congregations, where in certain cases the presence of God was not there. So just to assume Got that, right. that church that because it is called a church or a Christian church that the presence of God is there. So that's a wrong assumption that we learned the hard way. Yeah, but you told me there are doctrinal differences within these church buildings. And what that really means to you Mm. is somebody else's opinion of God's word. Because you may agree, right, with what we're reading and what we're, Mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to expose in God's word, his truth, and then a truth to us may not be a truth to you. So now you create your own denomination based upon your opinion rather than God's opinion, really getting understanding of the word of God because then we have, we have differences. Wait a minute, you believe this, you believe that. Wait, wait a minute, yeah. it's not up for multiple interpretations. 
So we searched for a church mm. since the time we became born again. And when we be, uh, signed, you know, our deal in, in, in 91 and our the higher place came out in 92, I felt very much a certain responsibility mm. to the people who we were ministering to. Wow. You know, so I knew that we needed ministry. We need yeah. to be ministered to so that we yeah. could minister to the people. I was very aware of that. So we were on the search for a church for many, many years, you know? But we were very soon disappointed and disillusioned, and I didn't know why. I thought, oh, okay, we're the problem. We're in rebellion or something, you know what I'm saying? We're not, you know, uh, getting submitted or, or what have you, the things that they say, okay? But looking back now, I don't see that. I don't see that. I see that we looked for the church, mm -hmm. but the church was not there. Wow. Wow. Yeah, looked for the church, but the church wasn't there. And, and I'm going to explain that. Well, Veronica, you know, what happens a lot of times is we go to these churches, just like you were saying, you know, you're not submitted, okay? And yeah. they'll, take a, they'll take part of the truth. Part of the truth, yeah. And twist it. Because yeah. so, you say, well, he's right. I, I need to do Wait a minute. Right. There's nothing wrong with us. There's something wrong with you. Yeah, what's you know, going on here? What are you thing? trying yeah. to manipulate in my life, rather than pour into my life the truth, tell us, you know what, guys? We come week after week after week because we want you to know the truth for yourself, okay? Now, if we present something that you may disagree with, you may, not, you may feel uncomfortable with, research it. It's so true, Higher though. Place Church has changed my idea of, of what church is. Mm -hmm. Absolute. I mean, and every time I search the scriptures, you know, for for these messages or what have you, I am like, oh my gosh, we should have been doing this all along. So the idea that we used to have of church is not the picture mm -hmm. of what we believe church is now, according to the scriptures. So Higher Place Church has changed our our way our of lives. thinking, our way of thinking about church. Yeah. And so now we've searched this out, and I feel like we can put it to rest, so to speak, you know, and, um, yeah, and, I'm and share this with you all. And I'm going to clarify this. By doing what we've done, we've forsaken the Zionist movement of America. We have completely said right. no. And the word of faith, and false the, doctrine right. as well. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because and these are the people that would bring us into their churches. Very nice people. Yes. These are not bad awesome, people. Awesome people. Some of them are and, awesome incredible. people. There's, yep, there's some people that are, that are dear to my heart. Yeah. But that doesn't mean yeah. that we go there for a job. That we go and we... That we go get under that doctrine. Doctrine that we don't yeah. agree, with agree with. Because how can... How can you walk together how, lest you be in agreement? There you go. How can you walk together lest you be in agreement? That's we right. have to be in agreement about something. But if there's something that is a, a, a salvation issue that we're divided on, there's a real problem That's with that. That's right. Yes. Okay, so we can't... Yes. You know, we're not dismissing right. everything That's, that goes on, but you have to understand the position that we've taken. Angelo and Veronica, we've said, we love you, mm -hmm. but we can't walk with you because we don't agree with you on these doctrinal indifferences or differences. Because, you know what, guys? I'd rather do an honest job for the rest of my life than compromise because mm. of a job. Compromise the word of God, yeah. Ministering the gospel is not a job. Let's clarify that right now. It is not a job. Your calling is not your job. It's your job. A calling is from God. And, and it, 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 now, can the job be part of that calling? I believe it can. Because I think that you, where you work can also line up where you are spiritually. Right, and it's unfortunate it that the singers cannot 
have a, have an opinion. They cannot have a mind of their own. They just have to go with uh, where the gigs are, you know? Right. And that's something that we stopped doing. Yep. And, and here is the reason why. So this is, guys, this is a really difficult subject. <laughs> so bear with us. Um, I want to start by defining the definition of church. Go ahead. The definition of church is Break it down. Ecle e ecclesia, ecle like iglesia in Spanish, um, and it means a calling out. It means a calling out. Calling out of what? Mm. Calling out of the world? Mm. Calling out of sin? Mm. Christ has called you out. I mean, what a what? huge honor and, and privilege responsibility. and responsibility. Yeah. So according to the scriptures, the church also is the body of Christ. Correct. In which Christ is the head, and that's Colossians 1, uh, Colossians 1, verse 18 and 24. So this says to me, the church is not a place. Hmm. Okay, so we think of church as a place. That's the first that thing so that true. comes into our mind. Oh, yeah. The church is a place, but the church is not a place. The church is a people. You know, Veronica, the church it's is funny. Because we were seeking after. According to the de that definition. We were seeking after a place. Right. And God is saying, seek after me. Mm. See, where is he? Is he in your church? Where is he? Now, if your church is full of sin, where's God? Where is he? We're gonna we're gonna clarify okay. that. Yeah, and that's, that's important. No, incredibly that's important. Incredibly important. Crucial. Yes. Yeah, so keep that. Keep that in the back of your head. Mm -hmm. What is he saying? What? My yeah. church is full of sin. Yeah. Because yeah. Anyway, move on. So okay. So we're looking at this scripture, um, Hebrews ten twenty five. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Which is interesting here, he says, as the manner of some is. So some are going to come away from assembling together, okay? But exhorting one another so much more you see the day approaching. So now what is forsaking? Forsaking means to abandon or desert. So it says, as the manner of some is. So some people, you know, and I think they don't want to be held accountable, Mm. I think that's what it is. Yeah. True. And that's what you will be accused of, you know? Oh, you don't want to be held accountable. You don't want to be under submission. And that's not always true. You mean under but control. But there are some. You mean under control. Who, or Yes, or under control. Yeah, yeah. Which we were Ex in every yes. single church we went to. We that's were under right. control. Under control, yeah. By people yeah. who are above God. Above the law. Yes, yeah. that's so true. So what is assembling? Assembling means a gathering together mm. in one place. What does the scripture say? Matthew 18, 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, mm. there am I in the midst of them. Wow. Two or more. Gathered together in my name. I want to read it again. Two or more. That's it. That's all you need. To gather, to, to us, for this to qualify as assembling together. So you're saying to me. Two or more. If Angela, gathered together in my if name. If Angelo and Veronica are at the dinner table, or if, if uh, Norma and Sally are at the, the dinner table, or Mark and Jill, they're at the dinner table, their God is in the midst of us when you're opening the so word So long of God. as they are all believers. All believers. And we're going to talk about this as well. So Ooh. long as they are all, be because wow. it says assembling of wow. ourselves together. Assembling of ourselves. Mm. It's not an open meeting. Sorry to say. It's not a secret meeting like secret societies. <laughs> But it is not an open... And we're going to look at this in the script. I'm going to prove this. It's good I'm going to prove this in the scripture. Okay, so what is assembly? What is an assembly? 
Okay, so the beginning of Hebrews. You have to pretty much read. Read. From the beginning. You got, yeah, you have to read. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you have to now read. we have a problem. Now we have a problem. You have <laughs> to the read. pastor reads. You don't have to no read. Way. See, that's, no way. Don't see, let a pastor do hold this Hold on. That's for the you. benefit uh-uh. of going to a building. Because you can sit like me. I sat there like a big dumb me. Yeah. Sitting in the front row going. Yeah. Whatever the man said, yeah. that was the only Bible that I knew. And I had a guy call me out on it. When this one guy was yeah. manipulating me, trying to destroy my marriage, yeah. and, and this one guy saw it, yeah. one guy out of 30 years, okay, Joe Mano, yeah. love you, brother, went to, he says, can I take you to lunch? And he had an agenda. His agenda was, what do you even know about God? That was his agenda. I believe that. We, and, wow. I, and of course, I, I was the typical gospel musician and I would hold my Bible in my hand never opened it but it was nice it was a nice it was a nice nice black Bible you know anyway I go to lunch and I'm just giving a little testimony yeah and and I sit there and and he goes Good. and I Good. And then he said what he had, what he had witnessed in this church mm-hmm. towards me and I go well you know you know, I mean, I'm just trying to be submissive to the pastor, you know. And he goes, wait a minute. He's trying to get in between, between your, your marriage. marriage. He says, don't you, he says, don't you open that book? I go, yeah, I, yeah, I opened it. Yeah. He said, did you read it? I go, yeah. He goes, well, show me the scripture where Jesus said, let no man separate what I've joined together. And I'm like, was that in Genesis? Right. Is that where Revelation? It's He's in going, old, it's in Matthew, and, sir. Old and New Testament. Right. Yeah. It's all over the place. But but it's like, <laughs> but being blind That's right. and being dummied down Dummy and being down. Wow. And, right, and being <gasps> brainwashed and submitted to this this Pharisee, yeah. this Caiaphas. I didn't have it. I, I missed it. Go okay, ahead, baby. I'm very excited. I know. I'm very excited. <laughs> no, no, I so, just okay. want to be honest. So what is this? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to exp- expound on what you said. What is the assembly? Okay, mm. go, go to the beginning of Hebrews. The assembly is for those who are in Christ. You have to be in Christ. Okay, mm. that's first of all. Also, you ha- Christ is, how do you say, has, has brought this new covenant. So those who are part of the new covenant, covenant specifically. Now, I'm going to challenge somebody today, okay? Because if you are still observing the law of Moses or Levitical law, any of it, any of it, the 613 of them, you are not part of the new covenant. Correct. Okay. You can't be under the old covenant and the new covenant. This is what false teachers do okay and this is very much explained by apostle paul in galatians and this book of hebrews okay and the and the book of hebrews i believe was specifically for the hebrews so they had an even more difficult time with this but he made it very clear this is the assembly is part is for those who are part of the new covenant. If you are observing law of Moses, okay, well, go and do that. I'm very sorry for you, but you're not part of the assembly that Paul is speaking of. And how in the world can you obey 613 laws? We don't even obey the stop signs on the street. And you want to obey 613 Levitical laws. Now, hold on. Before we're misunderstood, because we've been misunderstood in this Mm -hmm. before, um, and I'm sure we'll we'll continue to be misunderstood, but let me try to clarify this. The purpose of the law of Moses was to show us our sin so that we could be led to Christ, so that we could come to Christ. If the law of Moses was perfect enough to save us, 
there would be no reason and no cause for Christ to come. Would be the point. Okay? What would be the point? And Jesus himself knew we couldn't fulfill all those laws. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just crazy. Absolutely. I'm, I'm sure. Yep. Hello. So Hebrews 8, 6 through 8 and 13. So this is going to make this clear, guys. Um, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. What kind of ministry do we want to be a part of? A more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we want? We want a better covenant, a new covenant, Correct. which was established upon better promises. Wow. Better, pro we want better promises. And this is what Christ and the new covenant assembly is offering. Hallelujah. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Okay? So everything was to lead us to Christ to living in his spirit and to obeying the law of Christ. That's all. We adhere, we don't adhere to the law of Moses anymore because we've come away. We live in the spirit now. You no, know, it's funny you should, you should say that because every time I confront somebody on tithe, just, just, just take yep. one law. Yeah. Every one time law. I... Just oh, one, yeah. yeah. And I ask them... Just one is enough. They to go, is it? Get, put you back under... The Old Testament on. covenant. There you go. I, they go. It's in the Old Testament, and I'm not. We're not saying the Old Testament isn't powerful. No, it is. It actually foretold what was going to happen in the New Testament yeah. when Jesus came. But what I'm saying is, that I go. Okay, okay. Now, when Jesus came, where did he say ten percent? Where did Jesus say give ten percent of your right. income? Where? Show me in the word, pastor, yeah. pa Never bishops, find it. cardinals, or whatever title Never you gonna... want to give yourself, okay, which is ridiculous. Stop that foolishness. And of course, people are impressed by those titles. That's why they follow you, and they idolize you, and they worship you. You know what? God's not sharing his glory with no man, especially those who call themselves leaders and pastors and there's a higher standard we have to live by and we're responsible to telling the people the truth anyway but this has made me guys this will if you let if you allow this guys if you receive this this is going to make you free absolutely because under the law of moses which is of the works you will mm. go back to bondage yeah. Let me let me continue. Uh, and, verse eight. Yeah. For finding fault with them, he saith, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah." This is also for Israelites and Jews. The new covenant wow. is also for Israelites yeah. and Jews. Yep. Okay. I'm going to say this because this is what the Word of God says. Right. Okay, verse 13. Good stuff. In that he saith a new covenant, he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxes old is ready to vanish away. Guys, let me, let me think. Mm. Do I want to go to the mall? Well, I, I hardly don't go anymore, thank God. Um, <laughs> but do I want to go to the mall and get a new dress? Or an old dress? Do I want to pick out one that's kind of old and tattered and mm -hmm. kind of falling apart? Our son goes on or eBay do... <laughs> and buys an used one. <laughs> or do I want to go there and get a brand new mm. dress? And it's beautiful and it's a brand new. Which I don't remember and... the last time he did that. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> that's okay. That's Amen. okay. God is, Christ is giving me a new garment, a new garment of righteousness. He's teaching me that. But, I mean, what do you want to do? You want to go and right. buy an old tattered suit? No. That's falling apart, full no. of dust? and Or do you want a brand new suit that's impeccable? Okay, so, guys, this is your choice. This is what the Word of God is saying. The, you know what? The old garment served its purpose. 
It wow. got you through a lot of years. It protected you. It, it made, yeah. made you made warm. You warm and it, cold. Right. it took care of you. It protected you until you got that new garment. And it's like, wait, what? You're going to hold on to the old? Get rid of it. Get rid of it and put on this new garment. 